Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're going through binomial expansion so we can answer questions from exercise 8c. So just a reminder that binomial expansion is the quick way that we can expand high powers on brackets if it's an a plus b form. So for example a plus b you could multiply all of these eight brackets out however that's probably not going to be the easiest way of doing it. We can use here the binomial expansion and the way that we can do this, instead of writing out Pascal's triangle down to the 8th level and then copying out all of those coefficients, what we can do is we can use the choose button on our calculator or the calculation of choose up here, but it's much easier to use it on the calculator. So for example, if you wanted the 8th row on Pascal's triangle, you would start with 8 choose 0 as the first value, then it'd be 8 choose 1, then it'd be 8 choose 2, etc, 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 going along that triangle until you get to 8 choose 8, which is back to 1. Okay, so the easiest way of expanding brackets here and looking at what the coefficients on those values are is going to be to use this choose function that we have here. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, the, f the full formula for the binomial expansion is this thing here. This n with a 1 over it is another way of writing n choose 1, just like this here. So remember that the powers of a are going to be decreasing each term that we go through the binomial expansion, and the powers on the b term, the second term, are going to be increasing from 0. Remember that all of these binomial expansion questions have effectively a starting value of 0. This is like n choose 0. And then here there's a b choose 0, but it's invisible to us. And then we go up the powers on the up the values on the choose, uh, down the values on the a's, and up on the values of the b's. Okay, so we go down on the values of the b's, up on the values of the b's, and up on the values of the chooses. Okay, this formula here is in the formula booklet, so you don't have to remember it off by heart, um, but it's good to know how it's going to be used. Here is exactly how it's going to be uh, phrased in the formula booklet. The reason it needs this n exists in the natural numbers here is because we're not going to be working yet with powers like a half or powers like um, 5 over 2, for example. OK, so let's have a go through a question and we're going to use this binomial formula at the top here. So in this case here, we're going to want to expand 3 minus 2x to the power of 5. So the way that we would do this um, is we would set a equal to the value of 3, b will equal the value of minus 2x, and n is going to equal the value of 5. And then just substitute all of these values into the binomial expansion formula. So it's going to be a to the power of n, so that's 3 to the power of 5, add n choose 1, or 5 choose 1, and the power on the 3 is going to decrease, and the power on the minus 2x is going to increase. So to fill in the rest of the values, we get this thing here. You can see here the powers on the 3s are decreasing, the powers on the minus 2x's are increasing, and the choose functions here are increasing as well. And then we have to be very careful here when we simplify our answer with the negatives, with the chooses. Make sure that we square all of the minus twos inside these brackets here as well. And this is our final answer. We get 243 minus 810x plus 1080x squared minus 720x cubed plus 240x to the power of 4 minus 32x to the power of 5. Okay, so in this question here, we're just going to be going up to the fourth term here for 1 plus 2x to the power of 10. So in this case here, let's uh, work out what the values of a, b, and n are going to be. So a is 1, b is 2x, and n is the value 10. So it's a to the power of n to start with, that's 1 to the power of 10. Then it's 10 choose 1, decrease the power on the 1, increase the power on the 2x and go up for four terms. Then use your calculator to simplify all of this, and this is what we get. 
Okay, a slightly more tricky one here, but exactly the same rules apply. What we're going to do is we're going to set A as the value 10, B is the value negative a half X, and N is the value for 6. Okay, we only need to go up to four terms. Okay, so let's have a go then. A to the power of N, that's 10 to the power of 6. Add 10, sorry, 6, choose 1, times 10 to the power of 5, times minus a half X. And then 6 choose 2, 10 to the power of 4, minus a half x to the power of 2. And the final term here, if we're only working up to 4 terms, 6 choose 3, 10 cubed, minus a half x oh, cubed. Now be really careful here when you simplify, because you're going to have to square the negative half and cube the negative half here. So we're going to get in total here 1 million minus 300,000 x plus 37,500x squared, and minus 2,500x cubed. Right then, your turn to have a go at some questions on your own then. Pause the video and try these questions. Right, okay then, hopefully calculator's ready at hand, and we're going to have a go at these questions here. So in this question here, A is going to be the value 1, B is going to be the value negative 2x, and N is going to be the value 5. So we're going to have 1 to the power of 5, sorry. And then it's going to be 5 choose 1 times 1 to the power of 4 times minus 2x. And then the third term is going to be uh, 5 choose 2 times 1 to the power of 3, decreasing on the powers of 1 here and then minus 2x to the squared. And the final term here is going to be 5 choose 3 times 1 to the power of 2 times minus 2x cubed. Okay, being really careful when we simplify this. So we're going to have 5 choose 1 is 5 times minus 2, it's minus 10x. 5 choose 2, 5 choose 2 is 10 times by 4, so that's going to make 40x squared. And then 5 choose 3 is 10 as well, because chooses are symmetric. So here's going to be minus 80x cubed. Okay, make sure you uh, have sorted out your positives and your negatives. When you've got an even power, you're going to have a positive term. When you've got an odd term, you can have a negative term. Okay, the next term here, use the binomial expansion to find the first four terms of 2x plus y to the power of 6. So, it's going to be the first term here to the power of 6. Add 6, choose 1, and then we'll decrease a power on this, and we'll increase a power on the y. Then it's 6, choose 2, we'll decrease a power on the um, 2x and we'll increase a power on the y and the fourth term here is going to be de increase a power on the choose decrease a power on the 2x and increase a power on the y so this here is going to simplify 2 to the power of 6 is 64x6 six plus 6 choose 1 that's 6 6 times 32 is 192 x to the power of 5, y. Then it's going to be 6 choose 2 times 2 to the power of 4, which is 240, so 240 x, 4, y squared. And the final term here is going to be 6 choose 3, which is 20 times 2 cubed, which is 160 x cubed y cubed so there we are uh, that, that is how we use the binomial expansion to expand brackets there have a go at lots of questions from exercise 8c make sure you have a go at these ones with fractions in with negatives in with high powers of uh, n here and uh, persevere through those difficult questions and ask your teacher for help if you need any uh, later on in the next video we're going to be just pulling out single terms inside these brackets here um, so make sure you've had lots of practice ready for that next video thanks for watching